you collect the other one right now? Oh, no, I've not collected. Anybody have the extra credit checkerboard problem to train in? Yes, sir. Oh, shoot. I mean, I, I did it. I actually did it in class. <laughs> it was extra credit? Yes. Oh, yeah. I thought it was required. I mean, it's just okay, so it's Set A is the class role. 
know, we've got Camper and Brayden, Josh, we can list everybody on the roll. And then the second set would be the grades I can give. And so, I don't know, Camper an A, Josie a C, Josh a B. So, <laughs> I don't get one. Okay. <laughs> All right. This isn't a like, precursor to anything, right? No, no, no. All right, cool. Just making sure. This, this is an illustration, yeah. So don't, so don't panic. In, in fact, let, let me add one other thing here. So we, we just have one Josie in this class. So th there are two problems with this function. Brayden didn't get a grade. Each element in the first set I've got to assign. You know, if, if I somehow tried to do this, the register would say, what was Brayden's grade? And it's like, I, I didn't have one. So he was in your class. You need to give him a grade. That's part of your job as a professor. Every element in the first set You've got to, to match something in the second grade, or the, the second set. And, and there's only certain things I can use. I mean, there's, there's a set of things I can use. And I say, well, I'm getting a Q. Like, no, no, that's not among your, your options of grades you can do. You can't give him a Q. You can maybe convince me he should get a W because he stopped attending and we're withdrawing him from the class or something like that, or an I because he's not done. But we have to put something there. This would also be a problem, because they would call back saying, which is Josie's grade? It's like, well, you know, there are times she came as a C student, and other times, I had a, you know, I've got to give exactly one element. Can't, can't have two. Now, this is certainly a much bigger problem than this, because, I mean, we, we could on this case, and we often do in math, if there's, an input we're having some issues assigning something to, we just agree that's not part of the input set anymore. I mean, more and more number wise, f of x equals 1 over x. What happens with 0? We agree, I don't really know what happens with 0. 0 is not in the domain. So our notation here is a, we typically call the domain, b, we actually call the codomain the set of possible outputs, we may or may not get everything in B. There's no guarantee I give all the grades from A to F. Could be nobody gets a B. I mean, there, there are possibilities on that. But I can give from the grades A through F. The other function I like to use, just to kind of illustrate this, is what I call the sheep goat function. I believe it's in Matthew 25. It's described that the judgment will be something like Jesus will separate sheep from goats. Everyone will come and be identified one or the other. So if we do this, I'm going to pick other names this time. I won't, I won't panic anybody like, like I did earlier with that. So uh, let's see. Diane, Jane, and no, wait a minute, I shouldn't pick people in my family. <laughs> but I can always try it, so okay. Uh, <laughs> and they'll be identified either sheep or goat. Nobody's going to come, well, this is odd, you're not on either list. And nobody's going to come, well, this is odd, you're on both lists. Every person in the first will be assigned exactly one element in the second. In the case of the sheep-goat function, either sheep or goat. Those are, those are it. Those are the only two possibilities. Now, in, in a lot of mathematical settings, when we first think about the function, we are thinking, here's an input. What's the output? Other settings where we want a certain output, where does it come from? So say th this one, numerically, suppose we want to get 2. In fact, we call that, say, the inverse image of 2. If I'm going to get 2 out of that function, how do I, how do, I do that? <coughs> what, what, 
input will give me two out of this function. One half. And so we could solve an equation, and there may be one solution, there may be multiple solutions. There may be no solution. In fact, that's kind of the next thing we'll talk about, is in the case of solving, how many solutions might there be with that. But certainly with the, the gradebook function, I think fairly on in the semester, most students kind of think ahead about the gradebook function and think, I want to get a certain grade. What do I need to be doing now? Or what am I going to have to do over the course of the semester? More importantly, it would be the sheep gut function. At that time, if, if I want to be identified as a sheep, what do I need to do with Christ's uh, offer of salvation now? And so we can look at that. But mathematically, most of the time, we're going to be going from sets of real numbers to real numbers. And definitely in advanced calculus, it will be real numbers to real numbers or subsets of real numbers. We won't do anything with complex numbers. But as we talk about this idea of inverse image, the inverse image of a set of T is the set of those elements in A with f of x ending up in T. So, so let's think a little bit about some things. So let, let's, let's continue with f of x equals 1 over x. Suppose I ask about the inverse image of the interval from 1 to 2, including 1 but not including 2. to give us what? The, the, the outputs between 1 and 2, including 1 but not including 2. So is there a way we could describe the set of inputs if those are the outputs we want? Where do they come from? That, that's the idea of the inverse image. In fact, that's, say that. this is f inverse of t. So we're not thinking the functional inverse. We're saying. Here are the outputs I want. Where did they come from? So here are the outputs I want. Can we figure out where they came from? Can we say out loud what we think where they came from? One half. So you know, one half is not included. To, to one, which we do include. So, so that's, that's our inputs that give that particular output. So we, we do look at, here are certain outputs I want. Can we figure out where they came from? So in terms of functions, There are, I guess, 
three things that could happen as we start looking at an inverse image of a set with one element. Get my notation right here. So, so when we first looked at this a set with just one element, two came from a half. Then we looked at a whole bunch of a, a larger set. Where did it come from? But for this, we're going to think of just a set with one element. There are three things that could happen. Anybody know what sort of think? What what's one thing that might happen? There could be no solution. So the possibilities. It could be an empty set, in which case this function is what would be called not onto. The idea of a function being onto is we actually get all the possible outputs. And so if we look at a possible output and decide, no, nope, that's not coming from anywhere, then our function's not onto. Would you say that's the case here? If, if the possible outputs are all reals, do we get every possible output? Maybe. Can, can you think of an output we don't get? Well, zero. Right? Zero. So if we were thinking reals to reals, this particular mapping is not onto. If it's, say, positive reals to positive reals, so we're only looking at this portion, it is on two. Because for every output, every output actually does come from someplace. So I think when you first encounter the idea of on two, and for that matter, one to one, which we'll also talk about here, we are thinking we're always going from reels to reels. Well, the idea of onto, in fact, let me specify what, what I think is the more customary definition of onto. F from A to B is onto if every element of B. comes from at least one element in A. There are no outputs missing. B is the possible outputs, we actually get them all. I guess that would be another way to say the, the mapping's on to. We actually get all the possible outputs. So we're all hoping the great book function isn't on to. some outputs that, that, we, that, that I could use that, that I don't use as I apply the gradebook function. So that's one thing that could happen. What's another thing that could happen? We could have one element. If that is always true, We say the mapping is one to one. A couple different ways we could write that. Uh, a mapping is one to one if A not equal to B implies F of A is not equal to F of B. So if you start with different inputs, you always get a different output. Well, not equal is, is not actually all that helpful. 
you, when you're working with things in general, there are lots of ways things could not be equal. So what's much more helpful is to actually do what's called the contrapositive of this that says if somehow we end up with the same output, and that implies or draws us the conclusion that, that, a, that the inputs in fact had to be the same, th then the, the mapping's one to one. So if somehow we, we thought we got to the output from you know, two different places, but discovered no, it wasn't really two different inputs, it was always the same input, then the mapping is one to one. And actually, I guess I should back up slightly. If this is always true, if this or that is always true. I mean, if we don't get an output, that, that, that doesn't mess up one to one. It messes up on two. But a missing output doesn't mess up one to one. So one to one, we're only looking at the outputs we did get. Do they come from only one place? If they're outputs we didn't get, that, that doesn't immediately say anything about one to one, but it does immediately say something about being on two. There's one other thing that could happen. We might get no elements that map to that one. We might get one, or we might get more than one. The set could have more than one element. That would be the case where it's not one to one. Because if there's an output that actually comes from more than one place, well, two different inputs, but they end up with exactly the same output. That happens. Or we ended up at the same output, and we, we don't know that we, in fact, had to start from the same input. Graphic.